Hello road trippers, we are back. It is a new year and today we are starting a new trip. This will be called the 365 day trivia road trip. Every day will be a brand new quiz and every quiz will be a random knowledge quiz. Now, if you've played road trivia before, you know that we have over 1,000 unique quizzes, most of which are in specific categories. But in the last few years, one type of trivia has consistently received the most views and the most positive comments, and that is the random knowledge quiz. So that's what we're doing all year, 365 times in a row starting today with day one. Another feature you will notice is the new trivia templates. There are a ton of new picture and music templates to enjoy this year, and although I have edited them to get to the levels and the volumes where I think they need to be, I'm always open to constructive suggestions and comments that will improve everyone's overall playability of the quiz. Feel free to leave such notes in the comments section of each video or email me at roadtrivia at gmail.com. All right. Today's template is called Natural Hawaii, and it is one of three new templates from my trip last summer to the island of Oahu. I hope you enjoy today's quiz. All right, welcome back to Road Trivia. Today is January 1st. We're starting day one of the 365-day trivia road trip. Today will be a 21-question random knowledge trivia quiz. We've got 20 questions up front. At the very end of the video, we have a question 21 if you need it for a tiebreaker, if you're playing against somebody, or if you just want that last question. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Born in 1931 and described as one of America's most distinguished and versatile actors of all time, what is the name of the man who is known for being the voice of both Darth Vader in Star Wars and Mufasa in The Lion King? His name is James Earl Jones. Question number two. In publishing, this six-letter term describes a set of journal issues published in the same year. It also describes the sound level output from a computer or a television. What is this term for the amount of space an object occupies, which for a cube equals side length cubed? This term is volume. Question number three. What term is used to describe the types of creature that eats both plants and animals, causing them to occupy the second level on some food chains and higher levels on other food chains? That animal is an omnivore. Question number four. This man wrote of Daniel Dravet and Peachy Carnahan's adventures in Kafiristan in The Man Who Would Be King. What is the name of this author who also told us of how the rhinoceros got his skin and how the leopard got his spots in Just So Stories? That author is Rudyard Kipling. Question number five. One figure involved in this event is drunk with the blood of saints. During it, seven vials are poured by seven angels in order to wreak havoc. It is set to take place on the hill of Megiddo. What is this biblical event where the forces of good and evil will do battle one last time?
That battle is the Battle of Armageddon. Question number six. Otis Redding wrote this song and recorded it for the Stax Volt label in 1965. But Aretha Franklin took possession of the song for all time with her definitive cover. What was the title of the song that was her first number one hit and the single that established her as the Queen of Soul? Her big hit was called Respect. Question number seven. John Lennon wrote one of the Beatles' most popular songs about his painful childhood memories and named it after the Liverpool Orphanage where he used to play as a young boy. What was the name of the orphanage or the song that was released in February of 1967? The orphanage was called Strawberry Fields, and the song was Strawberry Fields Forever. Question number eight. A dance from this country was the inspiration for Maurice Ravel's Bolero. What is the name of this European country that was written about in Albanese's Iberia and whose Toreadors are characters in Carmen? The country we're looking for is Spain. Question number nine. The Aswan High Dam, an attempt to control this river's flow, resulted in the creation of Lake Nasser, a massive reservoir shared by two nations. The Atbara is an arm of what river that starts at Lake Tana? This massive river is the Nile River. Question number 10. December 7th, 1941. A date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Remarked what U.S. president to the nation after the bombing of Pearl Harbor? That president was Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR. Question number 11. Wedge and rope are informal terms used to denote large and small forms of these phenomena. Their severity is measured with the Fujita scale. What is the term for these windstorms that most often occur in their namesake alley in the American Midwest? The Fujita scale measures tornadoes. Question number 12. This element's allotropes include nanotubes and fullerenes. Another allotrope of this element consists of thin hexagonal sheets and is known as graphite. This element is bound to four hydrogen atoms in methane. What is the name of this element which has an atomic number of six and the symbol of C? The answer is carbon. Question 13. A retiring police detective played by Morgan Freeman tackles a final case with the aid of a newly transferred detective played by Brad Pitt in the 1995 movie Seven. What actor plays the serial killer who is targeting people he thinks represent one of the seven deadly sins? The serial killer was played by Kevin Spacey. Question 14. Based on the 1962 novel of the same name by Ken Kesey, 
What is the title of the 1975 psychological comedy drama film that starred Jack Nicholson as Randall McMurphy and was the second film ever to win all five major Academy Awards? That movie was called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Question 15. One reason for the onset of the Great Depression in the U.S. was one of these taxes. What is the term for these duties that are aimed at goods produced in foreign countries and are designed to boost the sales of goods made within the country? Those taxes are called tariffs. Question 16. Lake Gatun is part of this waterway whose construction was made possible by the Hebunao Varia Treaty and the secession of a province from Colombia. What is this Central American waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? The answer is the Panama Canal. Question 17. The long walls connected this city to its port Piraeus. The Delian League was headed by this city where plague broke out in 429 BC killing its leader Pericles. What is the name of this democratic city-state of ancient Greece, the home of Socrates and Plato? The answer is Athens. Question number 18. A dog barks at a drummer in the lower left of this painting. After restoration, it was revealed that this painting did not actually depict an evening scene. What is the name of this 1642 work depicting a Dutch militia by Rembrandt? The name for it is The Night Watch. Question 19. While in Colchis visiting King Aetes, what leader of the Argonauts accomplished such tasks as yoking fire-breathing oxen and dispatching a group of warriors that sprang forth after dragon teeth were sewn into the ground, all to get the Golden Fleece? This leader of the Argonauts was named Jason. And question 20. At the end of this novel, one character briefly reunites with her mother, Gadul. Also at the end of this novel, Fleur de Lis marries that character's lover, Phoebus de Chateaupair. What is this 1831 French novel by Victor Hugo? The answer is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Join me for the next 364 days as we make our way along on the 365-day trivia road trip. Every quiz will get posted one time a day, usually around noon Central Standard Time. If you're not subscribed to this channel, this is the year to do it. We're going from less than 9,000 subscribers to over 90,000 subscribers this year. That's the goal. Share this on social media. Tell your friends about it. The more players, the more fun we're going to have. Thank you for watching this channel. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. This document replaced the word property in John Locke's list of unalienable rights, listing instead the pursuit of happiness. What was this document that was written by a committee, including John Adams, 
that ended with 56 signatures, the largest of which was John Hancock's. The answer is the Declaration of Independence.